1. The commemoration of the appearance of the Lord to, the to, to Thomas the Apostle after his resurrection. On this day is the commemoration of the appearance of the Lord Christ to whom is the glory to Thomas the Apostle on the eighth day from the glorious resurrection as the Bible said. And after eight days, his disciples were again inside and Thomas was with him. Jesus came and Jesus came, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst and said, Peace to you. Then he said to Thomas, Reach your finger here and look at my hands, and reach your hands here and put it into my side. Do not be unbelieving, but believing. And Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. When Saint Thomas put his hand in, in the head in the sight of the Lord, his hand was about to be burned by the fire of the divinity. And when he confessed his divinity, his hand was healed from the pain of burning, of the burning. May the price of this apostle be with us. Amen. To the depart of St. Mary of Egypt. This day also of the year 137 a.m., the hermit St. Mary of Egypt departed. She was born in the city of Alexandria about the year 61 a.m. from Christian parents. When she became 12 years old, the sat sat Satan, the enemy of the human race, seduced him, led her astray, and made her and made her his net to which he caught innumerable souls. She continued in this sinful conduct for seventeen years until the mercy of God touched her life. She met people going to Jerusalem and she went with them. Since she did not have what to pay for the trip, she gave herself to the owners of the ship in return until she came to Jerusalem. She also went to she also went on doing the same there. She wished to enter through the door of the church of the resurrection, but she fell on, but she felt a hidden power pulling her in the back, preventing her from entering the, the church. Whenever she tried to enter, she felt a someone preventing her from, from doing so, and right away she realized that she realized that was because of her uncleanness. She lifted up her eyes with a broken heart, and she went interceding with St. Mary, and asked her to intercede on her behalf before her beloved son. She felt encouraged and wished to enter without entering, nothing prevented her from entering, and she prayed there into God, asking him to guide her what was, for what was pleasing to him. She stood before the icon of the blessed and pure virgin and asked her fervently to guide her that she might save her soul. A voice came out of the icon, saying, If you cross the Jordan River, you will find rest and salvation. She rose in haste, and, we and when she left the court of the resurrection on and her, and on her way, she met a man who gave her three small coins, which which he brought he bread. Then she crossed the Jordan River to the, to the wilderness when she lived for 47 years. She strove strenuously for 17 years. Saturn forgets her by the fornication that she repented here. She, she repented from. She overcame. She, she overcame with the with the grace of God and she ate all the period of herbs of the desert in the forty fifty years of in the forty fifty years forty fifth year of her living in the desert, Shen Zozima went to the wilderness according to the custom of the monks here during the holy forty days of fast for revolution and asceticism. While he was working in the desert he saw the scene for out from far and he thought that she was a sort of marriage. He prayed to God to reveal to him the fact about this marriage, and he was inspired that it was a human being, 
he went to what the shadow by the flood from him from him when she saw that he is insisting on following her she called him from behind a hill saying O oh, Sozima, if you wish to talk to me, she told me a fact that I may call for myself or I am egg. He marveled both she called him by his name. He threw her to her what she covered herself within and she came to him. After the critics and the metani and the metanias, she she asked him to pray for her because he was a priest. He asked her to tell him the story of her life from the beginning to the present time. After she told him, she asked him to bring what with him in the next year the ho- of the Holy Eucharist to partake of it. In the next year, he came to her and she partook of the Holy Mysteries. Then he gave her what she what he had from what he had from dates and the lentils. She only took a handful of lentils, and she asked him to come to her. In the next year, when he came to her in the next year, he found that she had departed, a lion standing beside her and writing beside her, saying, Mary, Mary, the pure man, in the dust of which he was created. He marveled from the writing and from the lion that was protecting her body, and while he was thinking how he was going to dig to bury her, the lion came and dug a grave for her. He prayed over her and buried her. When he returned to his monastery, he told the monks the story of the strife of this holy woman, and they all increased in steadfastness in their deep and mixed progress in the spiritual life. All the years of her life were seventy-six years. May her praises be with us, and glory be to God forever. Amen.